Hello, everybody. Happy um, Compensation Day, War Compensation, that is. I got just enough seven-star shards to give me another seven-star to open. Hello, Thanos. How are you? I hope you guys don't mind. Oh, shit. I'm eating grapes, and I just dropped one. Oh, it's rolling underneath my bed. God damn it. Boner! Hold on, I gotta go track down this grape. It's a slippery little fellow. Okay. Got it. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Hello, Jason. Shane G. Just Thanos, I hear you. If I get... It would be the perfect time for me to get Venom, though, right? Hello, Earth 25. <laughs> no, but I found the grape that I was missing. It slipped right out of my hand. <sighs> Israel! <laughs> Israel, I, if I can see it, I'll get it. If Well, because I don't want Lily to get it either, because grapes aren't good for dogs. But I couldn't tell you how many times I have dropped things and they go underneath my bed or my dresser. And I'll be like, Tommy, <laughs> can you come pick this up for me? Because I can't, you know, get on my knees anymore. I'm way past that. I did that so much when I was younger that now I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Ah, yes, compensation was lovely. I got just enough. If I have, maybe if I have a pillow, maybe if I have a big fluffy pillow, it's my left knee particularly that's bad. But I have just enough seven star shards. I have quite a few six star shards. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the Black ISO store and trade in some of these five-star shards that I don't need. I can get rid of 5,000. And then I'll get a cheaper featured Eats. How's it going, Eats? I don't need knee pads. I don't need to get down on my knees for anybody except for Jesus, okay? <laughs> Look what I have started already. My God. Okay, I'm going to just do some bullshit Cavalier... Um, I know I can't because I'm stuck in Act 8. Well, did we just start this? I can't remember. Oh, I don't want to exit out. I'm a couple fights in. Okay, well, kick rocks! <laughs> All right, so then let's just go straight into the crystal opening, shall we? I mean, we have a lot to do. That's the, that, is that the first fight? I don't like purgatory. Okay, we'll just pop these three and get more six-star shards because we don't really care about five stars. <clears throat> uh, 
probably why I stopped. <coughs> I went in, saw that horny purgatory, and said, nope. All right, let us open up. How many can I do? I got one, two, three, four featured. All right, I'm going to actually record this. Yes, Bone Man, I'm finna record it. <clears throat> My hair is a hot mess, y'all. I was cutting the grass. My children are slackers. Hello, everybody. I was just complaining about my children being slackers because I had to cut the grass in the backyard and got all sweaty. So I have to take another shower tonight before I go to bed. Anyway, thanks to lovely compensation and other things... I have four shots at Onslaught. Onslaught is the only one I have left. So, Kabam, if we could please, pretty please, get Onslaught and Dongers is here! The big Dongers. <laughs> if we could please get Onslaught, then that would be fantastic because then I can just start hoarding all of my six star shards again. <laughs> Eats. <laughs> Nate Keel, how are you? Oh, Eats, that might be the comment of the night. Hello, Derek, how are you? All right, here is our first shot at Onslaught. Again, the only one I have left. So, here we go. Just give us Onslaught and then we'll be done. Okay, all right, not bad, not bad. Starting out good. Starting out with the featured. I'm... Not upset about it, that at all. It's more seven star shards. So, White Tiger. I don't know if she needs to be awakened. Um, but she is now. So, eating another grape. Grapes are good for you. Ooh, congrats, Earth 25. Blanc OT Gray. As Jason calls her. All right. Here we go. Come on, Onslaught. Show yourself. Okay. I'm not upset at that either. Two for two on the featureds. She is now awakened. Chi Ilf. Hello, Legacy. <clears throat> All right. Oh, you don't have her yet, Kick Rocks? That, that's, that's crazy. All right, let's go again. Come on, Onslaught. Can we make it three for three? Three for three on Featureds? That would be amazing. And let's go. Come on. Do you know how many times I have pulled this guy from these crystals? I mean, I'm not mad about it, but damn. Oh, Kick Rocks has, you have two Titans to open tonight? That is so exciting. All right, last one. We got the Magical Mystical Moose. <laughs> Talkers. All right, I'm going to let the last one spin out. We're going for broke on this. Maybe Onslaught is just waiting to be... He's coming in late. He's just showing himself. He's making a fashionable entrance. Right at the very end. 
Hello, the Kraken. Come on. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Por favor. Okay, here we go. Come on, Onslaught. Show yourself. No, no, no. Well, I mean, two out of four ain't bad. Two out of four is not bad. I'll take it. 50%. Featured, you know, not bad. <laughs> Bone Man does not like Green Goblin. I mean, that's really, look at that. That is just not bad. 50% rate on Featured. I'll take it. All right. Thank you for watching. I got a lot of more crystals to open. So, if you weren't here at the live stream, where the fuck were you? You should have been here. Maybe you'll be here next time. Bye. Okay, dokie. <clears throat> and slain. How are you, and slain? Uh, Dongers, there was war compensation that just came out. And Act 8 that I've been working on trying to do more of. Well, hello, Donnie Fillmore. <laughs> For war, if you don't do, you don't do war, do you, the Kraken? Oh, what kind of food are you getting? If you don't do war, I don't think you would get compensation because it had to do with war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Now, oh, I almost have another one to open. But the main, this, this right here is the main the main event. Do I? Where am I at? On um, now I'm at sixty, almost sixty six hundred Titan shards. I still am annoyed that Titan crystals are twenty thousand shards. <clears throat> we did do really well. Uh, Bone Man ended up in what plat five, I believe. Yes, Plat 5. So this was basically the last war, wasn't it? 877 cash. <laughs> Wait, okay, so this is very off topic, but have you guys heard, I'm sorry, I'm eating some grapes. Um, about the wonderful mayor of Dalton, Illinois. He was a huge crook. And um, has stolen so much money from her town and has gone on these expensive vacations and all this stuff. She's under investigation. But <laughs> what's hysterical is that it is Illinois. Yes, the former mayor of Chicago, who, Lori Lightfoot, who I won't say what I really call her, um, is leading the investigation against her, which is just... It's like the blind leading the blind. I, I hate fucking Illinois. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So damn crooked. That was totally off topic. Joel Williams, how are you? Um, so I just thought that I would bring that up. Um, if I remember... How much is the... Can I get the Loyalty 7 Star? Where is it? 
Where art thou? Is it not in here anymore? Is it under miscellaneous? Do they not? Oh, it, it trust me, Jason. It is not as, Texas is not as bad. It's red now? Of course, I have 1.5 million loyalty, which I got from comp. Oh, there she is. So wait. So I have to buy, f this is, why did they change this? Okay, so now I have to buy, do I buy 15 of these? Is that what I need? And then I can, this is so confusing. Okay, so I buy 14 of these, and then I can get the loyalty crystal. Although, I, I gotta say, I really don't like the champs that are in here. So I don't know if I want to do that. Because last time I pulled fucking Mordo, the only one I, the first time I opened one of these, I got Void. If I could awaken my Void or get Black Cat or even Storm. So there's really one, two, three that I want and one, two, three that I don't want. So I got a 50-50 shot. No, Bone Man. I'm using loyalty. I have 1.5 million. I honestly was saving it to buy either that in times of desperate measure or that. No, not that. That. I mean, I could buy one of each, but I got to think about that. I don't know if I want to do that yet. <clears throat> so, all right. Okay, well, Bone Man, when somebody uses all my glory, so I can't use my glory in the glory store. Ooh, Johnny Fillmore, that's awesome. That's what happens. Okay, now, I gotta record this. I'm all befuddled today. I'm eating grapes. I'm dropping grapes. I got bad knees. All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. Kabam graced us today with compensation for war, um, which is fantastic. Franchise 7, how are you? Um... Which gave me just enough, enough seven star shards to go for Venom yet again. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking because I got the compensation that this is Kabam's way of saying today is going to be the day that I get seven star Venom. Hello, George Banda. Also, please hit the like button, everybody. Um, so, I, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, you know, they gave us the compensation and put me just over the edge to get my next seven star. So, I mean, it's only right that I should get Venom. All right. Somebody, okay, the Kraken. Who should I purchase the crystal on? Any day now. Spider Ham, Photon, Vox. Photon. Okay. Boner, give me a number between one and five. Right, Venom? Like, right, George? It's only right that he 
shows up. Derek Falcon is awesome. He needs to be awakened, but I love my seven star Falcon. Wait, what did you say, Bone Man? I can't scroll up, damn it. Okay. There's one, two, three. All right. Franchise seven enough with that blasphemy. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Fucking Franchise 7 telling me I'm going to get a Mordo. If I get Mordo, I'm going to kill you. Not really, but just kidding. That's true, Kick Rocks. He's not in this crystal. Donnie Fillmore, no. Okay. I see him in there. Venom is in there. I saw him. I saw him twice. There he is again. Okay. He's, oh, there he is. Come on. Come on. I mean, I'm so happy for that. I know somebody who's going to be very, very jealous of that. I can't believe you guys are so far behind. I'm so excited for that. <clears throat> and Slane called it. He did call it. No, um, um, Darren is going to be very jealous of that. Hello, Valiant J. <laughs> Eats, I've been pulling all kinds of meat tonight. <laughs> Kick Rocks called it too. All right. I'm very happy with that. I mean, can't see anything bad about Spider-Ham. I love him. I don't like fighting him. He's a pain in the ass. His porker popper kills me every fucking time. But what am I going to do? I suck at the game. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Legacy, they are green grapes. They are green grapes. They are delicious. They're nice and crunchy. Seriously, his porker popper fucking gets me every single time. I like both green and red grapes. I'm just going to move an AQ. I don't, where do I want to go up there? Take my usual lane to the right. I love man. Don't think about taking my lane. Stay in your own lane. Put the Ant-Man relic on the spider ham. Oh, wait. I have a poll. I need you guys all to help me. Stephen Burris is coming I hope to the stream. I hope he is. Okay. This is very serious. If I could spell. There we go. Good night, George. Thanks for stopping in. Steven! I love tuna. Steven Burris, I am sorry that there was no sound on the <coughs> Red Skull video. I don't know what happened, but I had, a, I had nothing but lovely things to say about you. And, as you can see, I took Red Skull to rank four. I used the four, the three to four gem 
that I got from completing 8.1 on your beloved Red Skull. <sighs> I love tuna fish. I, no. Who, you guys are all fucking weird if you don't put cheese on tuna. Have you guys never had a tuna melt? Is that like a Chicago thing? A tuna melt with cheese. It's delicious. I mean, it's, okay, if you don't like tuna, then you can't vote. But if you like tuna, do you put cheese on it or not? Well, yeah, like a tuna melt. So you put the cheese on it to make it a tuna melt. You guys are all weird. It, well, right. Okay, so maybe I should have explained it better. <laughs> exactly. A McFish burger at McDonald's. <clears throat> I know. I should have explained it better. I should have said a tuna melt. Well, that has fucking cheese on it, Jason. George Banda, I will never tell anybody how old I am. Ooh, nice, Steven. I have Legacy, and I'm not a fan. That's right, Jason. <laughs> I, I used to make a tuna casserole that had peas in it, and it was delicious because I love peas. So, you know, <laughs> Jason... <laughs> I can't, I, okay, this whole bacon, bacon thing has gotten out of control. It's just gotten out of control. So, what do y'all think? Should I buy the damn Loyalty 7 Star? Or should I not buy it? I don't, I mean... My mom loves bacon, too, and she had triple bypass and just had three stents put in. So, you know, <laughs> it's fine, George. <laughs> I kind of agree with eats. It's not, I don't think it's worth it. <clears throat> These grapes are fucking delicious. Alright, I'll do another poll. We'll end this one. You guys are all fucking weird. I don't know who does not put cheese on tuna, but you guys are weird. I'll do one more poll. I finally cut my fingernails so I can type. <sighs> the crack. Good night, dongers. Oh, George. Brooklyn Blaze. 
your brother just left. How's it going, Brooklyn? Alright, 83% percent percent of people <laughs> said that I should buy it, so I guess I gotta buy it. Alright. So I gotta buy 14 of these things, right? Wait. Or do I buy... What do I buy? Because it's telling me I don't have enough. How do I do this? Percent. Oh, Brooklyn, I'm sorry. <laughs> and slain. I put my hair up in a bun because I was sweaty after cutting the grass. But it's telling me I can't buy 14. See, it's all red. Insufficient funds. Do I have to buy that first? Do I buy these first? The crystal shatter? The loyal, well, these are the loyalty ones. Okay, so buy 14 of the loyalty crystal shatters. Hello, Reaper. All right, I'm going to buy 14 of them. So you guys better be right, because this is all my fucking loyalty. <laughs> Okay, now I have to buy, f it still says I have zero. Okay, now I can get that. Okay, this is too complicated. Why don't they just leave it at 1.5 million? It's just, why do they got to make shit so complicated? Why do I got to buy this and then go buy that? It's so stupid. <sighs> okay. It's, it was, I mean, it, is it really that hard to just leave it at 1.5 million? Come on. Come on now. Okay. Is it over here? Is it over there? Where the fuck is it? There she is. If I get Mordo out of this Franchise 7, you're demoted. Just FYI. Okay, I'm not going to record this because I'm scared. I would love a seven-star storm. I would love a black cat. I've already gotten Void in fucking Mordo. So we want Void. Ooh, Blackbeard! Thank you. We want Void, Storm, or Black Cat. Alright, come on, Void. Or Black Cat. Or Storm. Ah, damn it. Motherfucker. <sighs> Such a waste of money. Or of loyalty. Uh, well, it is a new champ. He is... Bone Man thinks everybody in this game is godly. I mean, literally, you have a 50-50 chance to pull a good champ. So, I mean, he's got Cold Snap, yeah, but I don't think I'm ever going to use him. Sorry if I'm chewing in your ear, everybody. 
We're twins today, Derek. It's fine. It is what it is. I'm not going to be upset about it. I mean, I kind of got him for free. So, it's okay. It's all right. I'm really fucking excited about Spider Pig, or Spider Ham. And look at how close I am to taking this guy to rank 3 and then becoming Valiant. I need basically one full Tier 4 Catalyst. So, I love him. So, let's take up our spider ham. We don't really need to watch that. You know what? I hope Derek comes to Prof stream tonight because he always does that shit to me. Oh, guess who I got today? People always trying to make me mad. You ha you have wait, Kick Rocks, you have rank four seven stars? How do you do that? I have one rank three, Shane G. I have one. I have America Chavez is my only rank three. Oh, I was going to say, Kick Rocks. There we go. I could take him to rank two, but I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, how many if six rank twos? I could take Falcon to rank two right now, but I'm not going to because I need the tier 6 and the tier 3. And then she is my only rank 3. Congratulations, Nate. That's awesome. You have to have two, Shane. Two. Oh, damn. Well, this, oh, you know what? I'm going to just exit out of this because it's okay. Lord knows I ain't doing that on stream. <clears throat> I have been <clears throat> seriously slacking on the event quest. Oh, did he get Red Skull? I'm assuming Stephen Burris. Science and skill. Wait, who, what is the boss? He's tech. Okay. Okay. So I'll bring in skill. Skill. Sorry, Titania. You go bye-bye. And skill. And cosmic. Oops. I fucked that up. Okay. 
Well, franchise or legacy, that is your job. School is your job, so that's what you should focus on, not this stupid game. The side quest, Derek, is crazy. I haven't done any of it. I should have brought in Hulk. Because I don't know how to use Photon yet. Good night, Donnie. Nate, you will enjoy Act 8. Act 8 is fun. Well, thank you, George Banda. John 4. Howdy, neighbor. I wish I could awaken my Elsa. She's fun. Well, I will let him know, Kick Rocks. Derek, I think they were, weren't they going to send out keys, like additional keys? I think they talked about that. <sighs> Legacy, that's why you got to do AQ to get the glory. Doug, holy shit, where have you been? How are you? I was wondering about you the other day because I'm like, where the hell has he been? You <laughs> the gun lady. I like the way you put that, George. I can relate to the gun lady. <laughs> ah, fuck. Oh, no. That stinks, legacy. <sighs> <sighs> oh, Nate, you'll find it's better. It's definitely better. Oh, Doug, that's awesome. Nice job. That's awesome, Doug.
Come on. Come on, Phoenix. Dumb Phoenix. Ah, <sighs> oh, well, Doug, you're sweet. <clears throat> Okay, so if you're not a student, I know, like, Legacy is a student. What do you guys all do for a living? I often wonder these kind of things. Like, I personally work in commercial insurance. Um, I often wonder what people do. You don't have to say if you don't want to, but... I work in commercial insurance, so I do general liability, workers' comp, property insurance for um, contractors and small construction companies in the Chicago area. Hello, Kay Nader. Stephen Burris is landscaping. Now, I can't read all these and still do this. Hold on, Vox. Slow your roll. Nate is a manager at Family Dollar. Franchise 7 is a retail manager. Legacy is a student. And Slane is a paper-pushing contractor. Joel builds industrial automated machines. Doug has the most honorable job. Jason has a very financial job. Are you a fiduciary, Jason? Working for Fidelity Investments as a supervisory principal. You have a job very similar to my sister's. John Ford works in loss prevention, so him and I could have some interesting conversations about Loss prevention and insurance are very close. George Banda is a mechanic. It's always good to know a mechanic. Derek has a very interesting job. He makes designs on clothes. That's cool. What do you mean there's no sound? Earth 25 is a quality inspector for Trigo at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The Kraken Show. <laughs> and yes, Legacy, that definitely, definitely counts. That's right, Jason, and you are my gardener. Is anybody else having problems with the sound? Oh, it's Trigo? Sorry, I said Trigo. Ooh, Shane, that was cool. Stephen Burris is also my pool boy. Kraken. <laughs> oh, Lord. I've only fought this guy once. And it was only in Cavaliers, so. Can we not parry him? I don't think that we can. Oh, fuck. Let's just throw a special three and see what happens. And a grave digger. <laughs> hey, Wolf, how are you?
Oh, shit. Okay. So we can't parry this asshat? Oh, now we can. Oh, that was a cool special. Oh, okay. Now he's got falter. And now he's unblockable. Where is all of my... Oh, there it is. Okay, let's try that again. See if he dies. Are you serious, Steven? Oh, oh, now we're going to get to see his special three. I don't care if I die. He, this guy reminds me a lot of, um, he reminds me a lot of Night Thrasher for some reason. The guy with the, uh, whatchamacallit? Um, skateboard. Okay. All right, it did much better with Mr. Nick Fury. I knew you did a lot. He is good, Doug. Um, he's engaged. He is starting to write a book. So... I know he's not your favorite person. I, Stephen, I know you do a lot of stuff at church, but I didn't know you dug graves, too. Legacy, can you get a work permit through your high school or find a place that pays you cash? Because both of my kids had jobs at 15. I had a job when I was 15. Um, I mean, if it's just over the summer, work a few hours here and there, you know, to give you a little extra spending money, I think it's great. But my thing with kids with my kids getting their job was school always came first. So if they were working and their grades started to suffer, then it was bye-bye job. He, Doug, he kind of is. Doesn't he remind you of that? 14? Well, I had a paper route, but I don't consider that like a, a job, like a job job. I don't know. You can start 13 in Virginia? Seriously? And you don't have to have like a work permit or anything? I always wanted to be a lifeguard, Kick Rocks. I'm a good swimmer. But I always thought that that would be a cool job. In the family business, Stephen. Making shine. <laughs> yes, it is to Israel. She is a wonderful woman. Ooh, legacy, that's fun. One fungi! Or one fun guy. <laughs> As it's really pronounced. Ooh, you're so lucky, one fun guy. I opened up one also when I pulled Vision Arcus. I wanted to open, I wanted to awaken my void. What, Wolf? Are you kidding?
That's insane. Kick Rocks, are you excited for the Summer Olympics this year? I was never on the swim team. I was on basketball, and then um, I threw the shot put in discus in high school. Well, then hold it, Shane G. My advice on that is if you don't have a good feeling, then don't open it, because I have been burned too many times. Yeah, but you know what, George? I'll tell you what. My kids now are 17 and 18, and I would give anything to go back 10 years and relive. I would give anything because I hate the thought. They're so grown up now. Like, they don't, they go out with their friends all the time. They're driving. Like, they're never fucking home. Well, Shane G, getting bent over is not necessarily a bad thing for me, but <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Butterfly, that's hard. That's what she said. Um... Yeah, I mean, seriously, if I could go back 10 years with my kids, just take 10 years off the clock and have them be 7 and 8 again, I would love it. Because even though it's tough, because they're not as independent and can't do as many things, I mean, for themselves, it was just, I loved, like, the age between 8 to 12, I loved that. Oh, kick rocks, don't tell me. Don't tell me that. I would be happy with the seven star Luke Cage, though. One fun guy, I guess. Oh, good lord, my screen just went black. You're all gonna know my. Oh, no, okay. Hello, Epico. Welcome. Needs a dupe for a Titan. Also, pulls new Photon and Mr. Negative from 7 Star Basics. I mean, to have a 7 Star, to have a new 7 Star Photon, I would be totally happy with, though, Epico. I mean, heck yeah. Oh, George, you're so nice. Okay, you guys. Well, Prof is going to be on in a minute. So, um, I am going to sign off. Thank you for everybody that came to the stream and hung out with me. I had a lot of fun today. Opened up some good stuff. So um, I will be streaming again on uh, Thursday at 8 o'clock. All right. See you guys later. Bye.